Victoria Krukowski was a 10-year member of the Syracuse Symphony Orchestra before it went under. A Syracuse native, she's been hoping a stable, full symphony would come back to central New York. And now, the clarinetist is a part of a new venture called the Musical Associates of Central New York. And after all the turmoil over the past 18 months, Krukowski says the group, which includes more than 50 former SSO musicians, is in harmony, musically and personally. In many ways, we're a closer-knit family now, this orchestra, and I, I got to know many of my colleagues in ways that I never knew them before, and we're very passionate about the music, and we're passionate about Syracuse. Jose Luis Novo is the conductor of this newly formed symphony. They sound great. I think it's going to be very exciting because you can tell that people care about music, and that's, that's why we are all in this business. While that incentive of simply loving to play their instrument in an orchestra is there, this time around there's also a financial incentive, as each member of that orchestra has some of their own money into this venture, one of the few differences between now and the Syracuse Symphony a few years ago. Members of the orchestra are participating in the financial risk of operating this business, and as a result, uh, you know, we have a lot on the line to make sure that these performances happen as we've planned them. With plans for favorites like the Nutcracker, the Messiah, and Holiday Pops, they're hoping to get the community involved more than ever. We want to be more deeply rooted and have relationships um, that, that will be fostered over time. The Syracuse debut of the full ensemble is Saturday night. Reporting from the Civic Center, I'm Tom Eschen.